everyone, my name is Ariel, and today I'm going to tell you guys about my three-week evaluation that I just finished up at Heron G. Andrews. So, the first week of evaluation, which is like me with the evaluator and like doing other stuff, the second and third week was basically making sure I get the classes on time. So for the second week of evaluation, I had to make sure that I get to the medical office assistant class on time and the office tech class on time. And then the third week, it was culinary for two days in a row, but I had to get up early for that one because I had to be there at 7 o'clock in the morning. So, they have a rec hall oh, at the at home, so I'm going to tell you guys about the tournaments they have down there. So, on Monday, they have a chess and checkers tournament. And I'm really good at checkers, but I'm not really good at chess. Okay. Um, on Tuesday, they have a PlayStation 4 tournament, and they either use the game Mortal Kombat or WWE, which is like wrestling, basically. On Wednesday, they have Cutthroat Pool. Now, that's like regular pool, only it's like a little harder. So, oh, there's that one. On Thursday, there's like no tournament, it's like, at all. So basically, you just do like whatever you want on Thursdays. You can play foosball, table tennis, watch TV, you can play the PlayStation. You basically do whatever you want on Thursday, basically. With like, activities they have down there. So, there's... There's another one on Friday. On Friday, I think it's Shuffleboard and Magic. And for those of you that don't know what Magic is, it's a card game. Okay. On Saturday, they have either War or Texas Hold'em, which I'm not really sure how to play that one, but, you know, it's, um like a card game that I really don't know how to play. Now on Sunday they have Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments. Now I'm going to show you guys some Yu-Gi-Oh cards that I have in my deck. Here I got them out. So the first one I'm going to show you guys is this one. It's a Sir Eyes Silver Dragon. It's really tough. <laughs> its attack is 2,500. Its defense is 3,000. It was a, like a really strong monster. You can use in tournament. Another one you can use in tournament is blue eyes. Now I checked the Yu-Gi-Oh card band list, which basically it, it like tells you like all the cards that are like now like banned because I'm not sure why. <laughs> So anyway, Blue Eyes attack is 3,000 and his defense is 2,500. So those are like the two strongest monsters in my deck. So I'm going to show you guys a couple more cards. So there's Silver's Cry. Now with this one, when you activate Silver's Cry, you target one Dragon type normal monster in your graveyard and special summon it. But you only activate one Silver Cry per turn. And that one is Dragon Shrine. So with this one, you basically send one dragon type monster from your deck to the graveyard, and if the monsters in the graveyard, if the dragon type normal one, you can. Send one more dragon monster from your deck to the graveyard, but you only activate one of these per turn. Another one that I like to use is Swords of Revealing Light. Now, when you activate this card, your opponent cannot attack for three turns. So, if you need like time to figure out your next attack, this is a good card to use. Okay. And then there's this one 
Call of the Haunted. So with this one, when you activate it, you basically target one monster in your graveyard and special summon it in face up and attack position. So when it leaves the field, you basically you put it in the graveyard. And when the target is destroyed, basically the card is. Well, it actually says on the card, it's not really like destroyed. It just means you can't like use it anymore. <laughs> and then there's this one, Monster Reborn. Now with this one, when you activate this, you can target one monster in your, 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 your graveyard or your opponent's graveyard and search for summon it. So those are some good cards to use in the deck. And I think there's like two more that I to use. So I'll show you guys the other two that I had to use if I can find the other one. Okay, so there's this one, that's Tornado. So when you activate this one, you target one spell or track card that your opponent controls and basically destroy it. Then you can set one spell or track card from your hand, which is really nice. With Miss, with this one, Mystical Space Typhoon? With this one, when you activate it, I'll just read it because I don't know how what that happens exactly when you activate this one. It says, target one spell or trap card on the field and destroy it. So, I like, say there's trap on like monster on the field. You activate this and destroy it. So, basically that's some of the cards I have in my deck. I have other ones which are not that interesting. So, I'm thinking, thinking, I'm going back there in August, so I'm going to take all my Yu-Gi-Oh cards with me. But the rules for that permit is that you are supposed to have somewhere between 40 to 60 cards. Now, I have 61 cards in my deck, so I'm going to have to get, I'm going to have to leave one here at home when I go there, so that I have 60 cards. So, yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now!